So I, I love the first season of One of Us is Lion. Can't wait Me for the too. second. Uh, something that I remember reading the books and I was like, okay, the books have moved on to other characters. Yeah. What was the decision? You know, why why stick with the same characters and, you know, not move on to that second book just yet? Yeah. Um, you know, I think a couple reasons. I think, first of all, our cast is so great. I love our cast. We weren't going to, you know, we would be crazy to to not keep them on screen. Um, and then second, it really takes, you know, it takes for, until the end of the first season for them to all sort of start being honest about who they are and kind of find this tentative, unexpected friendship with each other. Um, and to me, that's really the beginning of their story. You know, that's that's the first step. And I was really interested in saying like, okay, so now that they've told the world who they really are, how they, you know, Cooper has come out to his family and Bronwyn's told the truth about cheating and Addie's left Jake behind and, you know, Nate's been forced <laughs> to kind of stop dealing drugs. Like what happens to these kids now? What did that what does life look like for them? And what do these friendships look like? And are they actually going to be friends? Can they actually trust each other? Um, those were those were stories I really wanted to tell. There's still almost that feeling though that they can't quite trust each other despite all of this. They're still forced into this friendship Absolutely. that they've formed. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think no matter how much you trust someone, uh, hiding a body with them is going gonna, is gonna to test that trust, I think. So are there any characters from that second book that you may bring into the story at some point, you know, to help develop this? Um, great question. Not at the moment. You know, we, uh, we love this cast. We love the sort of supporting cast around them. Um, and we really, we really stuck with them. We do introduce some new characters this season. Uh, we, we meet Jake's brother. Um, we meet a new girl at school. Both of them become really big characters and some of the sort of smaller characters that we met in the first season, Vanessa, Evan, um, even Maven and Janae, you know, become much, much bigger this season. So some mysteries like this, they can fall into the trap of constant red herons and, mm -hmm. you know, constant of this is the big reveal. No, yeah. it's not. How right, do you right, stop right. yourself from falling into this this sort of cycle and then fans just go okay can you just give us the answer already right absolutely um well I think one thing that really helps us is that we're an eight episode season you know so we're not having to kind of like create red herrings just to tread water and you know wait to for the big reveal um and I think I think the other thing is we have a few mysteries right like we have I think hopefully the audience is coming into this season with more than one question and we can kind of divvy up by uh, when we reveal so there are, there are some big reveals along the way there are secrets and lies that are um you know cards we turn over along the way that aren't red herrings that are that are big reveals um, all you know leading us toward that last that last card to turn over if we sign in person was Karen involved at all with helping the, the development of the characters beyond that first book? How how did you go about going, well, okay, so this is what trauma does to people, but this is where right. these individual characters will go? Yeah, I mean, that was really just the work of a great writer's room. Um, you know, Karen gave us these these amazing characters in the book and and we took them and and went off and ran with them you know I think she she laid a great foundation that we had a lot of a lot of fun exploring and, and expanding on so she wasn't involved at all with helping continue the story um no in the second season you know she was really busy writing her she's writing a third book in this in this series so she was she was also in Bayview but uh, uh really busy with a different story so we yeah we were we were working separately this season. So I'll I'll wrap it up with one last question. Do you have an end point for this series in mind, um, or would it be you know 
moving on to, you know, sort of a reboot with a different set of characters? Yeah, I mean, I have, I have different ideas, I think, you know, I, I mean, I think that there's certainly an end point in mind to, to some of the stories we're telling now. Um, but I would love to see who these kids are in college or, you know, in a couple of years, I would love to keep figuring out their, their stories and what kind of trouble they get into. Well, thank you so much for your time. Good luck with the, the science. See, I can't wait for people to see it because I love thank you. continuing the mystery. Thanks so much.